All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Charlie Kirk debating a black woman on slavery and him pointing out certain things in, about slavery. So we'll be back, man. Sketchpad, you know what it is. like share subscribe hit the thumbs up button if you like the content hit the notification bell so you'll be notified that the sketch pad is in the house also too man um if you want to donate links right on the page if you want you know go right to the uh the uh description box and um it is what it is if you can't donate you know what i mean just uh share the content and um comment you know and Talks amongst each other and all this good stuff. But we're going to keep this train going. Look, man, Charlie Kirk debating black activists. We're just going to watch the whole thing all the way through. And then we're going to give our thoughts at the end of the video. I mean, if we have to stop it, we will. But I'm going to try not to. So let's go. Nine out of 13 states had abolished slavery by the Constitution. Northwest Ordinance had all new territories were free. And, and what do you take from that? That America wasn't racist? Not only that, we were the first country to abolish slavery, not just continue the practice of it. I mean, every other nation had slavery, including today. There's more slaves today than there were back then. Standard, unfortunately, slavery is the norm. Abolition is the exception. And America led the way. Charlie, that's, you have to understand. You're, you're not an unintelligent person. You know that that's a logical fallacy. Why? If you and I both have kids, and we both start beating our kids at the same time, and we're ruthless, abusive parents, and you stop, a year before I stop, that doesn't make us not ruthful, ruthless, abusive parents. Wait, wait. All right, so let me stop her right there. Um, okay, I can see her argument, right? But mm -hmm. what she neglecting to leave out is one of us stopped because we seen that we were doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I'm going to get a little bit deep into it. So let's just keep going unless you got something to say. If you don't, then I'm going to keep it going. No, I'm, I'm going to save mine until we're done. All right, okay. What, 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 what is the point of your argument? Just because one state stopped before another state, just because America stopped before some other country doesn't mean that the initial oh, act okay. of I, harm, I, the so, initial tort doesn't all right, still so, stand. So, I got, still okay. so where in the Federalist Papers does it justify slavery? Why does it matter well, that, whether or not... No, that's Charlie, the framework of our country. No, it, that question is completely untethered from anything that we're talking about. We're talking about the framework Charlie, of America. Do, is, is, no, we're not. Oh, okay. I, I mean, then what are we no, talking about? No, we're not. About? We're talking about whether there's systemic racism. Okay, and, well, we're and talking the, about the, the founding, the reality right? of systemic... See, this is the type of stuff that gets me frustrated, and I hate to keep stopping it. The whole conversation is about slavery, which mm. is embedded into the framework of the United States of America, because you're always saying this country was built on the backs of slaves. So when he say that, show me anywhere in the constitution where it says anything about slavery. And she says, that's totally untethered from the conversation. I can tell she's speaking from an emotional standpoint, because how are you going to say that that's totally taken away from the conversation when y'all talking about slavery and he's talking about the abolish of slavery through the means of the founding fathers i, I don't mm. understand it but let's keep it going systemic racism okay so what did black slaves people. decide when they met with abraham lincoln when they were given an opportunity for their own charlie, country no charlie. that's an interesting question right uh, what, they wanted I, to stay charlie it seems to me and this is this is something that i've noticed that you do often if you want to debate someone about the content of the Federalist Papers, you you got me. I, because my morals, my politics, my values aren't rooted in the content of the Federalist. I will I would admit that. And if that makes me a, a poor um, 
debate partner for you. No, I'm, I'm just, I, com I completely it, it can see that. It is the framework that. of our country. Well, so. I hate to keep stopping. So why are you debating him if you're basically saying you don't know shit? Why are you debating him? You're, you're debating out of emotion and you're debating from a standpoint of a, of a, 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 a bad faith argument. Because you're basically saying you don't know anything about about history, but let's keep it going, man. I'm 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 trying not to stop. The, you, those are just those words have no meaning, Charlie. They do. What they designed about... the greatest civilization ever to exist. And so, if you're going to say the system is racist, then show me anywhere in the private Charlie, journals of the founders them defending slavery. I don't have to show you private journals. Half the founding fathers owned slaves. First they don't all, have to <laughs> defend okay, slavery. Okay, so let, let's George talk about Washington one. George Washington owned slaves. Thomas, Thomas Jefferson owned okay, slaves. Okay, let's talk about Thomas Jefferson. So, but, but Charlie, that, that's beside no, no, the no, point. No, 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 it's not. It's very I, I important. Don't, I don't care to sit here. No, I'm not here but, to malign and talk about but, founding fathers, whether they're good or no, 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 bad. No, no, no. Because that's not the reality. The reality is, Charlie, people are mixed. It's a mixed bag. People can come up with a really amazing idea for a city on the hill and a prescription for a society of how it should be and also be deeply flawed individuals who made mistakes that it's our job to rectify because the founding fathers wrote in our constitution that we're pursuing a more perfect union not fetishizing what they happened to write down at a constitutional convention over 250 years ago and she just debunked her own argument with her own argument <laughs> I don't think she even realized it <laughs> How you just debunk your own argument with your argument, with your own argument. But I'll explain it at the end. Go ahead. That's what you have to say about our founding fathers. So let me tell about Thomas Jefferson. What, what, what is that like? Am I supposed to be afraid? I, I, no, I'm, I'm just so, but Thomas Jefferson, he was the first president to ban the importation of new slaves. That's a good thing, right? So let me ask you a question. Does, so does, does him doing that good, day, that good thing? Relieve him of the moral obligation for doing the bad thing of owning slaves it make, and raping it makes slaves. It Wait, what? The man said that he stopped slavery from happening. And you said, does that relieve him from the moral obligation of his past of slavery? Yes, it does. Because it was common practice back then. So if somebody say, you know what? This has to change. You're going to say because he participated in slavery that now all of a sudden when he tried to stop it, you're going to still say, well, that doesn't matter. It don't matter that he stopped it. It only matters that he had slaves before that. This is incredible. <laughs> a lot more nuance, doesn't it? I'm the one that's making an argument for nuance here. No, You're actually, the one that's making an argument for we must, so let me, we must, we must only talk about the no, good no, things no, that happened in American history. You've been history. doing more talking than me, so let me tell you what I believe. Okay, sure. That we all have something in common. You know what that is? What's that? We're born into a world we didn't create. Of course. And every founder came into a world where slavery was everywhere. By the time they died, it was. It wasn't on, everywhere, but it was lots of places. By the time they died, there was less slavery than ever before. That's a really awesome thing. Shouldn't we appreciate them? I mean, I have a little bit of a different perspective as someone who was a descendant of the people who were very much still enslaved when they all died. But I appreciate that you want to emphasize the good that they did, and I think that's fine. I also think it's fine if other people want to emphasize the bad that they did. I don't understand why you have a commitment to, it seems, erasing that nuance by only talking about no, it's not the a, good No, it's stuff. not erasing. I'm, I'm properly factoring in the positives with the negatives. So, for example, Thomas Jefferson, in the original draft of the Declaration, admonished King George for bringing slaves to America. He, he advocated for the abolition of slavery in 1790. The first ever anti-slavery convention was hosted by Ben Franklin in Philadelphia in 1775, so before the founders there was not a robust anti-slavery movement. It was John Quincy Adams, the son of John Adams, who led the abolition movement in America. Why the, is this an are, are we debating? What exactly is the debate at this point? At this point, I believe these were brilliant, heroic, and morally courageous men who deserve not to be remembered for their negatives, albeit we could factor those in, but the positives are that they and their commitment created the greatest civilization ever to so exist. So you believe they ought not to be remembered for their negatives. You just said that. That's well, a quote. Well, people have to be remembered, hopefully, for something in short. You should, rem you should factor in. Like I said, the factor needs to be appropriate. 
And the okay. factor should be. And I and I respectfully wait. That's fine. Having slaves, I think a little bit more in the negative pile. Okay, so I want to stop her right there, right? This is why I like Charlie Kirk, and this is why I say that she's getting smoked so bad in this debate. First of all, she sounds stupid. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I take that back. She don't sound stupid. She sounds uninformed about the argument that they came into. You know what I'm saying? So look, basically what he's saying in a nutshell is the founding fathers, although they had slaves, they were born into that world. That's like, that's like us being born into, I don't know, let's say uh, uh, we born into a house and our house, everybody in the house was criminals. You know what I'm saying? You are a product yeah. of you're a product of your environment, of course, right? Yeah. End up Born saying, like gang, yeah, crips, yeah. Whatever. exactly, right. right? It's no different, right? So, mm -hmm. what she's trying to say is, well, they 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 had slaves, so automatically they're no good. What he's saying is, what they did, what they did to abolish slavery, kind of supersedes that because they were born into that, or they were they can't they inherit that. It was a common practice, and that's what she's not getting. You know what I'm saying? If it's a common practice, people drive cars on the, the, the what the left and the right side of the road in the United States, right? Uh, the, the steering wheel is on the left side and they drive on the right side, whatever. You know what I'm saying? On in the other countries, this they they drive different. They have steering wheels on the other side or whatever, right? It's common practice. So if I came in and said, you know what, I think we should drive on this side. You know what I'm saying? And I inherit that. You can't use that against me. You know what I'm saying? Because that was what it was. It's the same thing. I'll get into it a little more. Let's let's keep it going and then we're gonna finish this out. Against the positive. Right, but they inherited here. that practice and then they got rid of it. So they didn't they didn't they never defended it robustly in their literature. They never okay. ran on it. Instead they inherited Charlie, an evil it, practice. It is completely legitimate for that's, you to wait no, that's owning fine. humans as property less. Than I do in the grand scheme. Yeah, how about the people that got rid of the practice? Them. That's pretty awesome, right? I, I I don't I don't know who you're talking about because slavery Thomas didn't Jefferson end for another hundred years. Thomas Jefferson freed his slaves on his deathbed, and one of the reasons why slavery didn't end for a hundred years is because they did not properly foresee the cotton gin or and John C. Oops. Calhoun. Oops, I guess. Well, because slavery <laughs> was on its way out. So you talk about the three-fifths compromise, which was actually an anti-slavery measure. Yeah, I also had middle school history, but Charlie, that's not the, that's not the point here. I, again, you're, you're oh, arguing with me as that. though Oops. I have an interest in saying and denying the historical record. It is what it is. I don't really care. My point is that there, for the whole right duration there. of American history, exactly your teaching of American history has been what's taught in textbooks. Now, oh, for the first time. That's not true. That's not true. First... That's a lie. That's a lie. Now, she just clearly, she clearly said a lie. They teach all that in, in history books. Maybe they starting to take some stuff out now. But when I was growing up, trust and believe, they taught all that. They even had movies on it. So what she's saying is a complete lie. And she's on, she's being very, very, very biased right now. Very biased. And then going to say, well, I don't I, I, I don't really care about a history lesson. What are y'all? Slavery is a history lesson. Slavery is history. What do you mean you don't care about a history lesson? He's telling you point for point what's going on. Well, she's not a historian, so she definitely, you know what I mean? She definitely like it. Then don't talk tell. about slavery if you ain't a historian because that's a part of slavery. That's a part of history. A hundred percent. You, it, it, it has to be. Yeah. Time in the 80s and 90s, as a part of this, yes, I'm sorry, critical legal studies movement, people are starting to put some additional facts. We had a lot of scholarship about Sally Hemings that didn't exist before. People are interested in these other different aspects of these, let's call them great men's lives. And instead of being able to say, hey, you take the good with the bad, you take the bitter with the sweet, as what Carol King would say, there is a push nowadays to erase the historical narrative to only have the good stuff. It doesn't hurt me. I'm not, I'm not like triggered by the idea that some of these guys had some good ideas. I promise you, it does nothing to me. I don't but mind. But you do admit that. I don't, 
I, I, like I just said. No, that's good. I, I mean, with the historical but record, it's not but just a couple it, good it's, ideas. It's, it's they, that you are pushing back against, I think, the extreme moral failing that it is to own another human being. Hold on a second. I, I, I acknowledge it, but I also am trying to ask the question, before the American founders, who fought to end slavery on this planet? Answer that question. The American founders didn't fight to lose, uh, end slavery on oh, this planet. Sure they did. And if you want to have a conversation about... No, no, they about did. The, That's wait, not true. Charlie, and if you want to have a conversation about the history of slavery in the entire globe dating back no, millennia, I, you should get a historian to come and talk to you. No, but just... I'm a, That's an important point, I'm though. Let's a, focus on that. Whoever tried to abolish it before the founders? I promise you if I Googled on my phone for two seconds, I could find a whole score of people who... Exactly. You don't know nothing. You just prove right there that you know nothing. He's coming, to, he's coming with facts. He's hitting you with facts, telling you what it is. And what you're doing, you say, well, I promise you I could Google it and find it. Yeah. I've tried to get rid of slavery across the world for millennia. That's, come on, Charlie. First of all, you wouldn't for, find much of it. And guess all, what? Charlie, they weren't successful But also, it doesn't matter, Charlie. Jefferson, I'm not, I'm not Adams, debating you. Madison J. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, then we can move on then. I'm just trying to close I, the point I, I, that I think it's... It's like it's, a weird it's an obsession. It's, okay, they did a, a good... It, let's concede they did a good thing. Why is that so important to you? Because they... Because it, it's, it's a... What? Let's concede that they did a good thing? Abolishing slavery is a good thing? Like, something's... Abolishing slavery? She trying to downplay it because she's so emotional about them owning slaves. If they abolish slavery, how is that something small? I don't understand that. It's a distraction from the bad stuff, which you won't linger on for even a second. I acknowledge the bad stuff. But you, you acknowledge must, the bad you stuff. You must okay. judge a person in the times of which they are in. They were geniuses, okay, the brilliant, people, worthy I'm of our gratitude. And the times that they were in were the abolitionists, the Quakers, who really did want to get rid, yeah, rid of slavery. That's John Quincy as, Adams, as, as contemporary, who was the original yeah, abolitionist. And some, some of the founding fathers are better than others. Oh, bro. All right, man. That's enough. <laughs> all right, man. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. So let's. All right, look. Look. I'm just going to go out and say it, man. She got smoked in that debate. It wasn't no, it, no if, ands, or buts about it. It's like, listen, we all acknowledge that slavery was bad. We all acknowledge that people had slaves. With, with people like her, what really kind of makes me mad with people like her is they don't really be honest, right? So you're saying that all these people had slaves, but you ain't really mentioning that blacks had slaves too. And when he said that we were the only ones, the United States, to this day, the United States was the only country that totally abolished slavery. You know what I'm saying? There's other countries that didn't ever have slavery, but there's countries today that have slavery still to this day. But to me, when you when we talk about owning human beings, there were slave, there were there were people throughout history that own human beings. It wasn't just black people. I wish black people stopped this goofy shit. We ain't the only ones that was enslaved. There's people that's enslaved right now. Why are we always saying it like we're the we're the biggest crying victims on the planet? I get it. We were stolen and we got brought here. OK, it happened. But there's people that's right now that's enslaved and you ain't fighting for them. You're talking about something that happened four years, 400 years ago or wherever, however long it fucking was. You're talking about that, but you ain't talking about. The, what's going on now in, in, in North Korea? What's going on now in certain parts of the Middle East? You ain't talking about that. People like her pisses me off to the core because they always come with these bad faith arguments. You can't, we can't change what happened back in the day with, with John Quincy Adams and, and uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. And all. We can't change none of that. It is what it is. There's nothing you could do about it. What are we gonna do? Keep harping on it? There's nothing you can do about it. That's like that's like being in a relationship with someone and you know that they did you dirty. 
Either you're going to leave him or you're going to stay with him. One or the other. But why do you keep talking about it? Especially if it's been 30 years later, you still talking well, well, well you, 30 years ago, you really did me wrong. I can't believe that. You, like, you still stuck on it. Let it the fuck go. I'm not saying that we should forget everything, but you can't have one without the, without the other. You can't say, well, I forget, but not forgive. You have to do both. Forgive and forget. That's how it goes. Oh, well, uh, you, they're trying to take the history, erase the history. They should. I'm going to go on record and say it. They should erase everything that has anything to do with slavery in America. Because all it does is divide us. It's over with. Erase all that shit. I don't care about what happened in the past no more. It don't affect me. Doesn't matter. I could, I, I could easily say, you know what? Well, where did they get the slaves from? Oh, they got it from Africa. Oh, we was enslaved there. Oh, really? Should we, should we, should we bring that up too? Because we never talk about that part. Shit gotta go. I don't believe that they are trying to erase slavery. I believe they're trying to highlight the good stuff that happened that pushed us to the point where we at today. You want to still bring up shit that, oh, we need to highlight what they did and, 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 and how they treated us. What is that going to do for people? What is that going to do? Give them the truth like that. Okay. You think that that don't breed more hate? I'm not saying they got to paint, paint these people out to be saints. But at the same time, do you really have to paint? Oh, this is the real truth. And this is what really happened here, right here. None of us know what really happened. We wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. I mean, she she made some terrible points. You know what I'm saying? Um, like if we go on, if we go and mention things pertaining to slavery, if we go and mention things pertaining to our people. Then we just gotta mention everything, everything under the sun, you know. Um, like we understand they were slaves, you know, four hundred whatever years ago. We get that, you know. Um, we also know that we was wrong. We get that too. But I feel like the points that she was driving was like, you know, she's not getting over the fact that we now have a choice you know what i'm saying she's not getting over the fact that we we can we can make our own decisions without having somebody else make the decisions for us we can do a lot of things on our own now mind you there still is people that are enslaved they're enslaved in their minds they're enslaved in their bodies they're enslaved in so many different ways i mean we can extend the word enslaved <laughs> to a bunch of different things, you know what I'm saying? Slaves with social media. Look at what they're doing now on social media. You know what I mean? Um, so in general, like if she's going to speak of enslaved, you know, we could talk about a lot of things pertaining to that, you know. But um, I feel like, uh, you know, it's a good topic. It's a good topic, you know. It's a good topic. It's a very uh, debatable topic, you know. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I think people like her are the reason why we're in the situation we're in when it comes to uh, racism being uh, uh, so prevalent today. You know what I'm saying? Can't move forward. We can't, can't move, move forward. forward. People like her will never let you move forward because mm -hmm. it's, it's like, well... I want you to understand that this is what really happened. And it's like, okay, I understand. No matter which way you color it, you could try to tell me, we all know slavery happened. They're not trying to take that out. But you also got to understand that that was so many years ago that it's, okay, does it, does it affect people? It depends on how you look at it, like you said. But... She made a lot of bad faith arguments. She got smoked. And that's it. It is what it is. But yeah, man. We out of here. Sketch back. You know what it is. See y'all. Peace. Bye.